is to prove to you that I'm not here to trick you. I am a scientist, not a magician. I am here to show you the ins and outs of every experiment I do today, the more you know the better. The second reason is to prove to you that when it comes to chemistry, you can't always trust your eyes. Two things can look very similar but have very different chemical properties. Now, let's pack back to the lab and see what it is we need to uncover to find that lost gas for chemistry. Today, you embark on an adventure of scientific discovery. A quest to find the lost castle of chemistry. You will see some amazing reactions in action. Ask questions, make educated guesses, and use your imagination. Find the elements, and you will find the castle. Find the elements, and you'll find the castle. Now, up on screen, you'll see our blank world map. And so this is going to be where we fill in those elements that we discover as we travel toward the lost castle of chemistry. Now, um, we didn't really have the budget to bring my dad, uh, Sean Connery, with us today, but uh, we do have this journal guiding us today, so we do have that going for us. Now, when I talk about the elements that we're going to be uncovering, I am talking about what my dad defines as the basic building blocks of the world around us. That means you, me, the air we're breathing, the clothes we're wearing, any food and liquid that we consume, everything around us that we can see, smell, taste, touch, or feel is all made up of elements. Now the smallest unit of an element is called an atom. Now just a single atom is too small to see with just our eyes. You would need a special electron microscope to see just a single atom, but put trillions of them together though, and you get something that's big enough to see with just our eyes, like us. Now up on the screen, you will see some of those elements that we may be talking about today. So can anyone tell me what that O up on screen stands for? You can shout it out.
Why didn't it burn? Do we have any guesses? You look very eager. The fuel was sand. Interesting thought, although I promise I'm not trying to trick you this time. That was only the beginning, but that's a very good guess. Right here. Yep, I'm going away. Yep. I'm hearing red, I'm hearing 
take those from you. And then if you want to help me with this, we're going to go up and over, okay? All right, Benjamin, you can go sit down. Thank you so much for being an excellent volunteer today. It's so much nicer when they live. It's a lot less paperwork for me. Now, let's throw that in there. And you know what? Reggie can just live over there. He's been poorly behaved today. So with that in mind, I think it is time for us to learn how to set up a simple science experiment. So I invite all of us to head down under to the bubble in Badland. Mentos. 
So the thing that we are testing, the single difference in a science experiment, is called a variable. Now, everything else in this experiment is going to be kept the same. I'm going to be using the same type of soda. I'm going to be using the same size bala. They are all the same temperature. I'm going to be using the same device to drop it in there. I'm using the same number of Mentos. The only thing we are changing is the flavor. Now, you could test any of those other factors that I mentioned to you, but if you were testing something other than flavor, you would want to keep the flavor the same. So now we're set up for our first experiment, but your job is going to be to observe the height of our geyser. So that way we can compare it to the mix. So we need to keep our eyes open, right? So for this one, how about we do a countdown from five this time? How about that? Rocking, and I would also like to point out I'm also wearing long pants, long pants. 
I'm completely covered, my hair is tied back, right? This is what we call lab safety. Now, into this graduated cylinder, I'm going to be pouring a clear liquid. This is a great example of why you never want to assume that a clear liquid is water, because this is not water. This is actually hydrogen peroxide. Now, I would never want to get this on my skin. It would burn immediately. You never want to get it in my eyes. My hair would even turn white. So we have to be extremely careful. And this is a great example of why you never want to assume a clear liquid is water. Because even though they may look very similar, see, H2O2, H2O, they look pretty similar when we're written down. But guess what? That one extra molecule of oxygen makes all the difference. Now, some of you may have used hydrogen peroxide before at home to clean a cutter, a spray that kind of bubbles and burns and gets those germs out. But what you've been using at home is generally about 3% peroxide. Or what you can get in a pharmacy is 3% peroxide and like filler, like water. What I have here is 30% peroxide, almost 10 times stronger. Now we can't, however, turn this peroxide into water. In fact, even as I'm speaking, this peroxide is turning into water. The oxygen slowly drifts off from the molecules and leaves behind water. This is a really slow process called decomposition. Now, you all aren't doing anything for the next few months, are you? Okay, I tell you what, we can speed this up and make this more exciting. So we are going to be adding what we call a catalyst. Can we all say catalyst? So the catalyst that I'm going to be using is potassium iodide and water. Now, once this catalyst is added, instead of taking months for this hydrogen peroxide to change, it will change in only a matter of a few seconds. So those oxygen molecules are not drifting away slowly. They are being ripped off so violently that they're actually going to produce now, the oxygen that's escaping will do so in the form of an invisible gas. So that you can see the oxygen that's escaping with your own eyes, I'm going to be adding just a little bit of dish soap. All right. Three. All right. Swirl that around. So to review, in this Erlenmeyer flask, I have a solution of hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, and dish soap. We want to turn that H2O2 into H2O and O. We are going to speed up this process of decomposition by adding a catalyst, potassium iodide and water. So now for this one, I want you to watch very closely because you might even get to see some of that heat escaping. Can I get a countdown from five? Of these plants at the top. 
Now this map is actually called the periodic table of elements, or a map of all the elements that have been discovered by scientists so far. Now you may recognize some of the elements we've already talked about today, like oxygen and carbon and potassium, but you may also see some that you already recognize, like gold, silver, neon, and tin. But this map works in a really neat way because the lighter an element is, the closer to the top of the chart it is. So the heavier ones stick to the bottom. I'd like to point your attention to those top two rows, one and two, H and HE. These are the two kings of the castle and of the universe. They are the lightest and most abundant gases. Does anyone know what they are? Right here in the black. Yep. Helium, so that's one. What's the other one? Hydrogen, exactly right. Hydrogen and helium. Now they may seem like lightweights, but they do indeed rule the universe. So what do you say we meet our two kings right now? I would like to introduce you all to King Hydrogen and King What we know by now is they kind of look the same, right? See, this is King Helium. He is a calm, noble king. Now, Helium is at room temperature, an invisible gas that is lighter than the air around it, which is why it floats. This is King Hydrogen. He is an angry, unstable king. But hydrogen, much like helium, is also a visible gas at room temperature that is lighter than the air around it. So by this point, you know that when it comes to chemistry, we can't always trust our eyes. Two things can look very similar but have very different chemical properties. Remember the candle that actually turned out to be fondant or marshmallow or the hydrogen peroxide? that kind of looked like water but was actually very different. The same concept applies here. Hydrogen and helium have very different chemical properties. Now we are going to test those chemical properties. We are going to apply heat energy and see if we can get either of these to release chemical energy. Now, in order to do this, again, safety first, I'm wearing my glasses. I'm going to get my headphones. We are going to be using Ion Jones, world famous, patent pending,
journey today is complete, but your adventure in chemistry is just beginning. You've uncovered a map for future exploration. A periodic table of the elements. A collection of building blocks from which we can create new medicines and technologies. But as you've seen, science is much more than just a collection of facts. Science is a way of thinking. Imagination is at the heart of every new discovery. By studying chemistry, you can do more than just uncover the past. You too can be a catalyst to build a brighter future. All right, everyone. Unfortunately, our time is coming to a close, but I just wanted to take this chance to say thank you for being such a wonderful, wonderful audience today. I'm going to hand you back to your parents, teachers, guardians, but I would like to say that my name is Dr. Ion Jones, and thank you for doing science with me. I'm scientist Patrick. I'm from the Kentucky Science Center, and we have brought to you guys, after our Ion Jones show, some activities that you're going to get some hands-on work with. So, if you look around the room, there's station number one, two, three, you can't see them, but they're behind there, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You are going to be seeing all the stations, but not at once. So here in a moment, I'm going to give you a number, and you're going to walk to that station. But I want you to look around. Do you see how we still have all of our set pieces out? Yeah, so we can't touch any of this stuff, especially anything that's on my tarp. So let's wait for Miss Ion to come back so that she can clean all that up. And as you're walking around my set, there's going to be some power cords, right? Please look before you run or walk, and you're going to step over it, all right? And again, I keep using that word, walk. So we're going to walk between our stations. When we rotate, we're going to rotate in this direction. So if you're at table one, you're going to move to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, and so forth. Any questions? Perfect. So like I said, I'm going to give you a number. I want you to then stand up and walk to that station. My volunteers, hello. If you need anything throughout the entirety, please flag down myself or Miss Ion. We will be over there to help you. Um, as soon as all of your students get to your station, you may start. Then I'll get back on the microphone and I will say it is time to rotate. And again, we are rotating in this direction and we are walking from table to table. If you see someone that is not walking, feel free to have them go back to the station and try it again. All right.
Now what we're going to do, you guys ready to get to the next step? You're still going? So now we're going to take our foam brush here. I'm going to get you a little bit more of the turmeric. We're going to dip it in the turmeric, and then you just uh, brush over your image. Let me get you a little bit. And we're gonna, it's going to reveal your image to everyone. Okay, that's it. Just brush right over it. All right, sweetie. Okay, now, if you want to hand it to me, I'll dry it. And we can slip on it because it's like we've already started the show. That is nice. Ready? Oh, I can do Let's see what her secret message is. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at the does not spread whatsoever, right? So it's definitely not that. Wait, now, no, the very you? last thing, right? What? The paper is made of something spread? special. What did we say it was made of? We said it was made up of Teslin. Mm -hmm. So this one is the paper from number three, and this one is the paper from number one, all right? So I want you to try number one. Three, two, one, go. Rip it. Rip it. Oh, it ripped. So what is it made of? Paper. Paper. All right, number three. Go ahead. Three, two, one. Oh, it's a little harder. So what is that made of? Teslin. Teslin. So we put our deduction skills together. Who stole the map? Teslin. No. I did. Chloe Chloride. Chloe Chloride. Oh, you can't rip it. Chloe. Yeah, I did. after a while it does. Okay. okay. So, so, so do I get another? Yes. Okay. okay. You will just take another one of these. And then you will take marker one, two, and three. Oh which are marked as one, two, and three. So it's these three markers. I'll move this one out of your way. Oh, okay. And you just mark a one, two, or three. Okay, That's it. Now that makes. I yeah, know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's yes. it. Yeah. Okay. These goggles are deformed. If I can get you guys to fill them up. Um, like that, like that, and then okay, you put two of them in your cups. Where's mine? Thank you. Whoa, whoa. And this is just water. Um, okay, I there thought it would be out. Why did we have to Ooh, what's that? Just so you can feel whole. How are you on the chart? Got one? Charcoal. I don't know what that's over there. Mm -hmm. What's that? Two. Do I put it in here? Yeah. Yep. Put it in your cup. Yep, you can put that down. Oh, yeah. Uh, Why is it? You get two? I she didn't get two sips. Them. I didn't get two sips. Oh, my hair. We. Is that should be plenty? I should have worn a hair tie today. We both want to go. Yeah, me too. Okay, so I'm going to put some calcium chloride in there. I'm going to close it, and then if you want to hold it this way and kind of swirl it, and tell me what you feel on the bottom, okay? She didn't even give me the ring. Or Carolina Wee Wee. Oh, that sounds so bad. Please <laughs> don't fit her, right? So roll it around. Or it's going to be on TV. Yeah, look at that. My mom would kill me. Look at the camera. Okay. I'm going to roll it. Stop saying stuff. Can I make you make sure? Okay, just roll it that way. Tell me what you feel on the bottom. Ooh. Okay. Is water coming out? Yeah, the lids don't fit very well. Here, I'm going to push you down. Oh, oh it's breaking down. Um, there you go. Go smile. What does it feel? You want to be on TV. It's feel on the bottom. Oh, on the paper cut. Remember, you're going to be on TV. Is it warm? It should feel warm. It just got on my paper cut. Yes, it's why is it so warm? Oh, I don't like it. That stinks. No, I got warm stuff on my paper cut. This hurts. It stinks for me. You need that? 
wipe it off. Did it feel warm? Yeah. Good. Good. We have to go to number one. Two's at eight and. Yep. As soon as you're done here, you'll go over to number one. Do you guys need wipes? Yay. Yeah. <laughs> And then if you just want to leave it sitting there, I you can use. Visible to your eyes. Fluorescent chemicals, which is in the highlighters, it absorbs up the UV light and sends it back to your eyes in a low energy visible light. The chemicals in the ink need an external source of energy to glow. Is that cool? Yeah. Makes it glow, doesn't it? Yeah. I've noticed a lot of the kids and always pick to put the beaker with the highlighter. That's the, what they wanted to stand out. And the mic, the mic. Like kind of like it just, it, the the micro does not pull it out, does it? It, it? it doesn't reflect. It just it goes all because around. Because this it, one but has it doesn't, But it doesn't touch it. it. Doesn't touch it. Thank you. You have about one You can more take your picture if you have a pocket. If not, you gotta leave it behind, okay? Oh, Eric. I cut, um, I took that off. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. I appreciate it. There's a picture at the top. Oh, there is? Oh, thank you. Yeah. She said you can take them with you if you have pockets, but if not, you need to leave them, okay? Oh, not the light, the picture. Yeah. I only have six of these. Thank you. Do you want to take your picture? No. Can you smell them? You can, but you need to waft, okay? So you're going to do this. You don't stick your nose right in it because it might hurt you. Okay. Any questions? No. Nothing. I think we're about done. Which, which? It is time to rotate. Please rotate to the right. Rotate to the right. Walk. Do not mind. Time to rotate. Hey guys. Hello. Okay. Let's not lean on the table, it's a little wobbly. Thank okay. you. And right. more. Yes. So today, so we're gonna talk about um, acidic and basic solutions. Have you guys heard those terms before? A little bit. So acidic solutions might be battery acid, stomach acid, lemon juice, or even soda. And basic solutions are bleach, things like bleach, soap, or in acids. So what we're going to do is we've got these four solutions in front of us. Each one of them is either water, has baking soda in it, vinegar, or this fruit protect stuff. Which, you know how when you cut into an apple, if you let it sit, it kind of turns brown? Yeah, this is supposed to help to keep that from happening. So, we're going to use pH paper. That looks like cheese. It looks a little bit like the right color for it, isn't it? <laughs> Grab a piece. And everybody's gonna pick a solution and we're gonna dip the paper in about halfway and then put it on the table in front of it. And we're gonna watch the paper change color. So go ahead, pick a solution. Dip it in about halfway. You can, 
and then put it on the table in front of it. That's fine. Yeah, mine too. That's fine. Ooh, we just don't want your fingers to get it because we don't know what this is. It might hurt. Okay, so let's start down here. What color is this? Where does it? Where is it landing on the scale? Mine is all the way. Oh. I can't. I was yeah, so is this basic or acidic? Is A basic or acidic? Well, we're looking here where the numbers are. Yeah. So this one's acidic. So you guys think about which, is it water? Mine is soda. Where is it land on the scale? What color? Is it, is it blue, green, red? It's red, so it's, it's more acidic. Okay, what about this one? Yeah, so maybe we're more basic over here, right? And then this one's a tough one. What do you think about this? Yeah. So what do you think? What do you think this one is of our four samples? That's right. So B is water. It's neutral. Because water is things and water. this one? It's down there. So these two are basic or acidic. So which of these do you think are acidic? Is baking soda acidic? Vinegar or fruit and tide? Yeah. No, but can you see a liquid or a solid? Yes. yes. Okay, so what we're going to do is this is just water, and we're going to fill it halfway to the container. And then we're going to put one of these tablets in it, and what do you think is going to happen? It's going to turn into a gas.
you guys this morning? Good. Good. Are you going to stand up? Yeah. Thank Just you. Do All right. I want you to look at my test tubes. Okay. And what colors do you see? I see blue. Uh, hazel type. Hazel? Okay. Uh, I don't guess. Um, I see I can only guess like dark like blue. Dark blue. What Her else do you see? You see all the colors? All the colors of what? Rainbow. Rainbow. All right. So if I was to take, if I was to take this test tube and take this test tube, do they look alike? No, but they still have the same colors. They do have the same colors, but they don't look alike, do they? All right. So what if I take this one and this one? Are they the same? No. Kind of. Sort of. Sort of? I see one. Okay, do you see any, see, special, yeah. do you see any special colors in here? Yeah. What do you see? Golden. Golden. And I see yellow. Yellow. I see glitter. All right, I want you to take a test tube, and I want you to put it up to the light and tell me what colors you see. Which light? <laughs> up to the light, just like this. Oh, one what, do, what do you see? Oh, it's yellow. yellow. Green. This yellow. is yellow. It's yellow? No, this is yellow. But what do you see, though? Do you see just one certain color, or do you see more? That one's gray. This is rainbow. rainbow. It's rainbow. Yeah, Some of your rainbow, rainbow colors. They're all rainbow. Yellow, green, yellow, green, purple, black, blue. white, brown. So do you, no see no white. White. do you see red? Do you see red in there? Green. You see red? There's no pink or purple. Yeah. You see orange? Yeah. Red, orange, yellow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is yellow. Okay. This is yellow. All right. What you're gonna do next? Okay. No, hey guys, this is yellow. Person. Okay. What you're gonna do next is you have a black square in front of you. Don't touch it. You're gonna take your hand and put it on that black square and see how much heat comes off your hand and see what you get. Do you have to put pressure? No. I'm, I'm like very Just takes a second. Oh, and then colors. lift your hand up and tell me what colors you see. Oh, rainbow. Oh, oh my god. Oh. I'm gray. Rainbow. <laughs> I see rainbow. I'm not rainbow. So what color stands out the most in the heat from your hand? Teal. Rainbow. Teal. Blue. What other colors? Green. What else? Purple. So when, it with, so when the heat yeah, withers away, what colors do you see as it, it disappears? See. <laughs> What do oh, you see? Red. I see a little red. Up. You see I red? see a guy orange, green. I don't see. And yeah. So you do see the colors of the rainbow. So look at this one, guys. This one's already a, a blue teal color. Watch. Is my is it going to change to all different colors? Yeah. One minute left, scientists. Blue. I just get plain blue, don't I? It's fading away. It did change. It did change. Yeah, we can look at it. Then mine was green, but no. Seven. Now what is it? What do you have now, Carson? Wait, now it's nothing. Nothing. Carson, you have what look, colors? Ready? Blue, green on yours, don't you? What do you have on yours? I have yours? two hands. It's like a foot. A foot. <laughs> no, look. There's the pinky. I put my green oh, wait, on it. Wait, that one could be the pinky. That could be the big toe. Or is that... I forgot you can't touch it. Alright, but yeah. That's the heat from your hand. So it turns what? Blue, green. Can we get this? No, that's Oh, uh, yellow. Thing. Yellow. Oh, this is cool. Can you, you buy pink? it on Amazon? What, these? Yeah. I have asked. I have no idea. I'm sure you can. Probably. Alright, guys. Alright, we're going to leave these right here in front so they turn back to the dark color for the next group. There we go.